वेलकम एवरी ओन टू आवर चैनल मैथमेटिक्स पाठशाला दिस इज एन अदार सी एस आई यू जी सी नेट जून टू थाउजेंड टोटी थ्री मैथमेटिकल सैंस प्रब्लेम कोश्चन आई डी सेभन जिरो फोर जिरो सिक्स टू दिस इज आर प्रब्लेम अब रियल एनालसिस सिकुएन्स प्रब्लेम प्रब्लेम अब चैप्टार सिकुएन्स सो द कोश्चन इज फार्ष्ट सी हेर आंडार हुई अब द फलोईंग कंडिशन्स द सिकुएन्स एक्स इन अब रियल नम्बर कनभार्टे so there are four options four conditions and uh, uh, we should uh, find that in these four options which one will be the sufficient condition for a sequence of real numbers to be converted so option 1 says that the subsequences x to n plus 1 x to n and x 3 n are convergent and have the same limit so see there is a standard result that if two sequences x to n and x to n plus 1 are convergent and have same limit then the sequence is convergent and also there are uh, given some extra condition actually we don't need this uh, if these two subsequences x to n plus 1 and x to n are convergent and have same limit then the sequence x in is convergent so this condition 1 is definitely a sufficient condition for a sequence x n to be convergent so mm -hmm. option one is true now see look at option 2 the subsequence x to n plus 1 x to n and x 3 n are convergent so uh, there is not given that the sequence subsequence have same limit but only says that they, they are convergent so now see uh, first let us suppose that for option 2 let us suppose that this x twin plus 1 converts to some limit say l and this subsequence x twin converts to some limit m so if we can prove that this l equal to m then by this result we can conclude that the given sequence xn is convergent then this will become a sufficient condition so let us now try to show that this l equal to m so for this if possible suppose l no s l l not equal to m suppose if possible l not equal to m so again uh this x 3 n is convergent subsequence so suppose this converts to some real number p so now see suppose l is here m is here and take epsilon equal to l minus m by 2 or 3 or 4 5 whatever we want mod l minus m by say 2 so clearly mod l minus m by 2 so clearly see here this this is our say l minus epsilon this is say l plus epsilon and uh, say this is our m minus epsilon and this is m plus epsilon so clearly there are no common point in this intersection l minus epsilon open interval l minus epsilon l plus epsilon intersection m minus epsilon m plus epsilon equal to 5 equal to 5 so now so so as this xn as this x twin plus 1 converts to l so what uh, what will now happen this neighborhood l minus epsilon l plus epsilon this neighborhood l minus epsilon l plus epsilon actually contains 
all but infinite all but finitely many terms this contains all but finitely many terms of the subsequence x to n plus 1. That means only finitely many terms of the subsequence x to n plus 1 can be outside of this interval and except that finitely many points, all the terms of this subsequence x to n plus 1, that is uh, x3, x5, like that, only, uh, only except the finitely many terms, all the terms of this subsequence will be in this interval. And similarly, this interval m minus epsilon, m plus epsilon, m minus epsilon m plus epsilon contains all but finitely many terms of the subsequence x to n. That means this subsequence x to x4, x6 and so on except finite uh, uh, at most finitely many terms of this subsequence x to n can be outside of this interval except these finitely many terms all the terms of this subsequence will be in this interval. So now, we have suppose that x3n converts to p. So, we will consider three cases separately that p may be equal to l, p may be equal to m, or p is not equal to l and p not equal to m. So, first we consider this case p equal to l and exactly in similar manner these two cases will be solved. So first consider case 1. P equal to L. So case 1. This p equal to l. So see here, this is our p equal to l, they are same and m is here and this is our l minus epsilon to l plus epsilon, this is m minus epsilon to m plus epsilon. See the subsequence x3, x3n. This is very clear that if k is an even integer, k belongs to 2z, then the terms of this subsequence x3k will be the term of this subsequence x2n. And if this k is a odd integer, does not belong to 2z, then this x3k will definitely the term of the subsequence x to n plus 1. So now see here that also since this p equal to l, so this p minus epsilon comma p plus epsilon this open interval, this is actually equal to l minus epsilon l plus epsilon because p equal to l. So, this contains all but finitely many terms finitely many terms of the subsequence x 3n. So, see when we have uh, we will take a large k a large k which is actually belongs to 2z and even integer sufficiently large sufficiently large 
then this x3 k x3 k will belongs to this interval p minus epsilon p plus epsilon that is actually l minus epsilon l plus epsilon and also this is as a term of the subsequence x to n and this converts to m so for this large k this x3 k will belong to this interval also m minus epsilon m plus epsilon so what we get that actually after a certain stage for some n0 all the terms of the sub uh, this subsequences will belong to uh, this m minus epsilon m plus epsilon of the subsequence x uh, 2n and also for a certain stage um, some n0 dash or whatever uh, all such uh, n sufficiently large greater than equal to n0 dash these terms x uh, terms of the sequence x uh, 3n will belong to this p minus epsilon p plus epsilon so uh, we can take uh, one such uh, k sufficiently large which is, which will be greater than uh, n0 as well as n0 dash so this x3 k then will belong to this p minus epsilon p plus epsilon and also this m minus epsilon m plus epsilon so uh, so this x3 k belongs to this l minus epsilon comma l plus epsilon intersection this m minus epsilon m plus epsilon and by our construction of epsilon this is clearly equal to phi so this is a contradiction this cannot happen so after certain stage after uh, a certain stage for sufficiently large uh, natural number k this x 3 k cannot belong to both these intervals so this case cannot happen so p is not equal to l and exactly in similar manner if we consider case 2 if we consider case 2 if we consider this case 2 p equal to m then exactly in similar manner we will get a contradiction because then then we will consider sufficiently large k when k will be an odd integer then for this sufficiently large k then for this sufficiently large k when k will be an odd integer Yes, then for sufficiently large k, then when k will be an odd integer, then this x 3 k will belong to this interval also, this p minus epsilon p plus epsilon, that is m minus epsilon m plus epsilon, and also this x 3 k will belong to this uh, l minus epsilon l plus epsilon, since this x 3 k will belong to that subsequence x to n plus 1, which converts to l. So then also this x3 k will belongs to common of these two intervals l minus epsilon l plus epsilon intersection m minus epsilon m plus epsilon which is equal to phi so this will again lead to a contradiction and case 3 clearly cannot be true because when this is case 3 for case 3 for case 3 when p is not equal to l as well as p not equal to m then exactly in similar manner we take any k sufficiently large which may be uh, even integer or may be odd integer then uh, then when this suppose l is here suppose m is here and suppose p is here so then we can take a uh, uh, epsilon in such a way that this all such intervals all such intervals are disjoint we will take epsilon in such a way 
like that. That is this L minus epsilon N plus epsilon intersection P minus epsilon P plus epsilon equal to phi and also uh, P minus epsilon P plus epsilon intersection this M minus epsilon M plus epsilon equal to phi and similarly any two if we take any two uh, intervals uh, from here then the intersection of these two will be phi. So then similarly uh, for sufficiently large k for sufficiently large k x 2k plus 1 all the terms of the subsequent should be here this interval of the subsequence x to n plus 1 and for sufficiently large uh, n uh, the terms x to n of the subsequence should be here and x 3n should be here. So when we take a sufficiently large k then this x 3k x 3k will belong to either here or here. If this k is odd integer then this will belong to this l minus epsilon l plus epsilon and this if this k is uh, even integer then it will belong to this interval but uh, since this p minus epsilon p plus epsilon contains all but finitely many terms of the subsequence x 3k so this cannot happen. So clearly these three cases cannot happen. So from this we can conclude that actually this contradiction arise because we have supposed that if possible L not equal to M. So this cannot happen. So we have we have L must be equal to M and hence these two exhaustive subsequences x to n and x to n plus 1 are convergent and have the same limit. So by the results stated above this option 2 will be correct option xn is convergent. Now consider the option 3 the subsequences x k n are convergent for every k greater than equal to 2. That means this says that this says that the sufficient condition should be for 3 sufficient condition said that x 2n is convergent x 3n is convergent x 4n is convergent and so on so on all the subsequences x k n are convergent for each k greater than equal to 2 says that x k n the subsequence x k n is convergent for each k greater than equal to 2 then x n is convergent or not now consider a subsequence let us try to define a sequence x n in this manner that we will take the first term is 1, x1 is 1. We will take the second term, x2 is 2. We will take the third term, x3 is 3. We will take x4 is 0. We will take x5 is 5. We will take x6 is 0. We will take x7 is 7. We will take x8 0. We will take x9 0. x10 0. x11 is then 11. x12 is 0. And like that. So, we can we can imagine that how is this sequence defined we have defined in this manner that xn is equal to n if n equal to 1 or any prime number see our x1 is 1 x2 is 2 xn is n x3 is 3 x5 is 5 x7 is 7 x11 11 x13 13, 13 and so on and the other terms we have defined 0 otherwise. If n is not prime and 1 then xn is 0. Now this is very easy to verify that all the subsequences xkn are convergent. Why? Consider this x2n. This x, x2n. This subsequence is actually our first term x2 is 2 and all the terms are 0. Why? Because all the terms x4, x6 are not prime numbers because they are multiple of 2, composite number. So they are not prime. So this x2n is 0. And consider the subsequence x3n. Similarly, 
see the first term is 3 first term is 3 and all the terms are 0 because they are multiple of 3 so this sequence converts to 0 constant after finite terms this sequence converts to 0 constant after finite terms and in similar manner all such kns are 0 but this sequence is not convergent why because the number of primes are seen, number of primes is infinite so this xn is clearly not convergent because since there are this is a standard result there are infinite number of primes so so this sequence is not convergent so this condition that all the subsequences sections are convergent for k greater than equal to 2 is not a sufficient condition for, for a sequence section to be convergent. So, option, so option 3 is not a correct option because this is not a sufficient condition. Option 3 is not a correct option. Now, look at option 4. This limit xn plus 1 minus xn is 0. So, is this a sufficient condition for xn sequence section to be convergent? So, now see that. for option 4 just we define a sequence xn equal to 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 plus up to 1 by n so now clearly this limit n tends to infinity xn so clearly x1 is 1 x2 is 1 plus half x3 is 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 and so on so limit n tends to infinity xn will be our actually this infinite series n equal to 1 to up to infinity 1 by n and this is clearly a p series for p equal to 1 so this is clearly not convergent and consider this thing that x limit n tends to infinity x n plus 1 minus xn clearly this will be our limit n this is clearly our 1 by n plus 1 and this is equal to 0 so see this condition is satisfied but the sequence is not convergent so this condition is also is not a sufficient condition for a sequence xn to be convergent so option 4 is not a correct option So here only option 1 and option 2 are the correct option and uh, sorry uh, extremely sorry this is option 4 is not a correct option. Option 4 is not a correct option. So here option 1 and option 2 are the correct option um, by the standard result that x 2 n plus if x 2 n plus 1 and x 2 n are convergent and have the same limit then x n is convergent and in option 2 since there are given uh, there is given a uh, extra condition that xn is also convergent so from this we can prove that this x2n plus 1 and x2n have same limit so a, a, the sequence xn is convergent so option 1 and option 2 are the sufficient condition for a sequence xn to be convergent and we have given examples that the such xn exist which is not convergent but the condition of option 3 and option 4 are satisfied so option option 3 and option 4 are not the sufficient condition for a sequence section to be convergent so option 1 and option 2 are the correct option and 3 or 4 are not the correct option thanks for watching see you soon